So there is a problem that I don't like about my bucket sink. I really love it, love the faucet. The biggest problem with this sink is it's really abrasive on the bottom, this galvanized. Plus it's, it's really uneven. So when you're trying to clean, it's really hard to clean everything off of this. So I'm going to fix it and I'm going to put an epoxy bottom in. And I'm going to use these seashells as the bottom. The first thing you need to do, so the epoxy bites, scuff it up. Then I always use acetone, it's my favorite. Uh, chemical to use because it flashes so fast. Now the problem I ran into is I, I've got to use a super cast epoxy that takes a really long time to cure really long time to cure and I need like three days cure time so I need to create a seal around this I drain so I can still use the stopper and what I came up with was a two liter bottle I cut the top off because the epoxy will not stick to this plastic. That's why I'm using plastic. And then I'm gonna silicone around it. Okay, I gotta let that, pot, that silicone dry. We'll get back to this a little later. All right, we're back, and this is silicone to him. Nothing's gonna leak past that. Now to mix the epoxy. What I like to do is mix everything together. I kind of like baking a cake. Now you mix it just to the point where it feels like it's not runny. The reason I mix these in like this is because if I just put the shells in and pour it over the top of them, they'd move. Plus they would want to float. So this just glues everything together. Coat everything nice and good. So that's a good con consistency. And now I just pour it in.
Now that you got this all in, now you just spread it out. Kind of trowel it out almost. Unfortunately, it looks like we need more. Now we just wait for it to cure and then I do a casting epoxy on top of it. All right, it's all cured. This is what it looks like with the first pour, which wasn't quite a pour. It was more of a troweling. Now I'm going to mix some casting epoxy and make everything smooth. I'm going to cheat though and I'm going to use jug as the mixing pot. Because I know that this is the correct the correct ratio. I'm not a believer in mixing anything with a hand drill. It just introduces air, in my opinion. And it's not that much extra work to do it by hand. This is a super cast by Stone Coat Countertops. It's uh, designed to be able to be poured two inches thick. But it's going to take it about 72 hours to cure. You know, everything looks good and it's all below. It's all flat, except for this one shell.
Now we wait three days. All right, we're back. This is all cured. The casting epoxy three days later is ready for another coat on top of it. That's what it looks like as of now. This coat right now, because it's casting epoxy, is not very durable. If it's going to get action, you got to put something on top of it. So we're going to prep this for a countertop epoxy. And you start with 220 grit. Back to the acetone to clean up the dust. And stone go to epoxy countertop. Got these off of the heater. Might have to torch it one more time. After that cures, I can pop the bottle out and I'm going to put another top coat on top of that to make it even harder and more UV resistant. All right, we're day six. Final pour is done. And I'll show you what it's like taking this bottle out. Well, let, me, let me turn some light on the subject first, a different subject. It turned out nicely. I see a lot of epoxy, a lot of epoxy stuff being done, countertops and stuff, but I'm getting sick of seeing all these countertops and lazy rivers and just countertops. How about we start doing things with sinks? Nice, most of silicone actually came out on its own. All I have to do now is file this all down, round it just a little bit, and polish it. I'll do that in a completely different video. Yeah, how about we start doing different things with the boxy instead of just countertops?
and that's an easy surface to clean. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you're notified for new, uh, new content that's uploaded. My next video I'm going to actually talk about the ceiling. And how it's insulated. Hope to see you soon.